This right here is very clearly a water bottle, but it's also a hydration pack, a filtration system, and even an outdoor shower. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We're gonna bring back Five Minute Fridays because why not? So today we're taking a look at the model water bottle. Now, like you guys heard in the intro, this thing can be way more than a water bottle. Thanks to its squishy body right here, this thing could even be a pillow, actually. It's kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so if you check out Model Outdoors website, you can find a ton of information on these things and people are using them for a million different uses. I'm gonna get this thing filled up with water quick and then we'll talk about some of my personal uses. All right, here we are, 36 ounces of water in a food grade silicone container that actually has two different lids on each end of it. This thing is like durable, super tough. I can still use this as a pillow. It's a cold pillow now, and it's not gonna end up leaking everywhere. Inside of here where the caps actually connect to the bottle, it is like a stainless steel insert, so it's really rigid. Now what's cool about this thing is how modular it is. Right here on the top, I actually have the Go Mod. You can squirt water into your mouth just like that. It sort of reminds me of one of those old like Gatorade squirt bottles. So in this configuration, it is just a pretty standard run of the mill water bottle. It also has these life loops on here. So if you wanna connect this anywhere, you could hang it up on a hook or whatever. I've actually seen people actually pop these off and wrap the loops around the front tube of a bike. That way they have access to the water right there in between their legs while they are riding. You can also pick these things up with an accessory pack right here, and these are what they call their mods. There's a couple of them, so let's go through them. The first one and most useful one, in my opinion, is the Go Mod because it makes it a regular water bottle. However, if I pop the little cap off here, it reveals this nub. Now, just like how I was explaining, you could mount this thing up to the front of a bike. I can simply slip this tube over that little nipple right there, and now I have a hydration pack. So this is similar to a Camelback or any other kind of hydration bladder that you have. It uses the same style hose here with a little silicone cap on the end. And it works well if you want to be drinking water while hands free. Now say you are out hiking, you have this thing in your backpack and you're running low on water. The only thing around you is a running stream of fresh water. Well that is where the next mod comes into play, the Pure Mod. Now this whole thing is constructed out of a hollow fiber membrane in there, which basically filters water. Just one of these pure mods right here can filter up to 3000 liters of water, which is roughly 790 something gallons of water. Now what you can do with this is simply pop off the go mod, which is technically now the flow mod with the tube attached. With this little silicone hose, I can mount the filter up to the inside of the cap. Get that thing on there nice and snug. Now say I filled this thing up at the creek that I've been hiking next to. I can simply drop this in, screw this on, and now the model is able to filter out 99.9% .9 of the bacteria that may have been in that water. So I was just drinking water right out of the van, which is basically just filled up with like a garden hose. And I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I feel like this tastes better. I honestly don't know. It's good though, it works. So you have all of that functionality in here, a hydration pack, a filtration system, a typical water bottle. And now there's the one that sort of made me raise my eyebrow. I'm probably gonna have to go over to the sink for this one. So right here I have the final mod, which they call their rinse mod. As you can see, it looks like a normal cap, but with holes in it this time. So I will screw this one on. Now if I use those life loops and hold this thing upside down. Since there is no vent hole on the top, this thing actually holds water. Now, if you hang this thing from a tree, you can stand under it and actually take a shower outside. I don't know how long a shower would last with 36 ounces of water, but I could also see some other uses for this thing. Like just last weekend, we were skiing in really muddy spring skiing conditions and we had to walk through the parking lot to get to our vehicles and our boots were disgustingly muddy afterwards. That would get some mud off of your ski boots for sure. So now one final thing, once the water is all out of here, I will put the Go Mod back on there because this is probably how I'm gonna end up using this thing. What makes this great for van life is that since it is a silicone body, this thing folds down and gets super compact just like that. I can take the life loops and sort of wrap them around each other and it will stay just like this right here. And when I want to use it, simply pop that cap 
and this thing will return back to its normal shape. So I never thought I would say a water bottle is cool, but this thing is pretty cool to me. It has a ton of functionality with the different mods that you can swap in and out. You can order this thing as a complete pack, and if you get everything included with the different mods, the filtration system, the hydration pack, and all that stuff. So you can actually pick this up right here in the full kit configuration with everything that you see for $95, or you can start off with just the water bottle, which is $35, and then add whatever mods you see fit which range between like 15 and $30. Now the thing that I'm going to be using this for is basically the Go Mod and the filtration system. A lot of times I don't like to drink the water that is coming out of my van because sometimes I don't really know if it is drinking safe. I know for this video where I filled the water up and it is safe to drink, however, there are some places where you just don't know so what I can do is put the water into the model. I can have the filtration system in there and then I can put this whole thing inside my fridge. Space is limited in there, so I can't really fit a whole gallon jug of water in there, but I can fit this. It's silicone, it has flat sides, so it's not gonna slide around and move around while I'm driving. And then of course it's good for if I stop to go for a hike like I've been doing over the past week or so. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cool thing. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now that felt rushed. I don't know if I made it under five minutes or not, but hopefully I did. If you guys have any questions on the Model Outdoors water bottle, let me know in the comments down below. And if there is any other product that you think would be a good fit for a quick five minute Friday overview, let me know. That's all that I have for today. If you guys are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.